for digital marketers, I'm going to throw this out there as, as my biggest fear for digital marketers using things like chat GPT. And I know we're going to talk about salespeople using this in this real quick as well. But from a marketing standpoint, this is terrifying to me. If you put in something and say, I mean, I was playing around with it the other day. Um, and I put in, uh, tell me about buyer enablement. That's what I asked it for. Like, tell me about buyer enablement. Explain why a business would need to use buyer enablement um, in their sales process. And it generated something that sounded absolutely incredible. But it also sounded very similar to what my website already says. And it also sounded very similar, eerily similar, to what all my competitors' websites say about it. And the, the thing that I want to point out to marketers <laughs> is that uh, we can't just take the things that this spits out and just go ahead and use them because we might be using trademarked yeah. information. We might be using somebody else's business's trademark tagline as our tagline and not even realizing we're doing this because we're being so damn lazy and we're just asking it to give us all the answers and we're just taking it for what it is, right? So we need to be careful from a marketing standpoint because you might be infringing on somebody's copyright. Something that I've been trying to do a lot with the the technology that are out there, because there's so much more than chat GPT, they're just the one getting all the hype at the moment, um, is, is taking the content and making it dive deeper into the content. So I asked the other day, like, you know, give me, you know, five real shattering, never been done before ways to network. And it came back with a lot of the same generic bullshit that you could. I'm like, all right, now expand on this idea. Tell me more and then give me a strategy to implement it. When you start tweaking it, you can still get a lot of better input, but it's still computer generated, you know? So you have to take that concept and information out of there and rewrite it yourself so that you can put it out there more from original thought process. process excuse me. Yeah. And also, you know, it is all about the inputs. Um, my test for this was I actually asked my developers um, one of the things that I was actually really interested in. So I'm the anti AI guy. I have no interest in AI. I think it's all a bunch of BS and I wish it would go away personally. But as I was looking into it, I started looking at what you could do from a code perspective, from a development perspective. And that's where I started actually getting really interested because the advances in creating software um, have grown, grown, grown so much faster, right? It's getting to a point where people are starting to question, do we need developers any longer? Because basically anyone can build anything at this point, right? And, it, and I don't agree with that. I don't think we don't need developers. I'll put that out there. But regardless, it's getting pretty crazy. When you look at ChatGPT and you look at what you can do from a development standpoint, where it can literally write the code that you need to have things do the things you want them to do in a digital space. That's pretty amazing to me. So I had one of my developers test that out and he gave ChatGPT a code review test, a test that we would give to any developer before you hire them in any sort of software development capability uh, uh, way. And what was amazing is he was like, you know what, the first time I gave it the test, it was clear that it was AI generated because the responses were so clunky um, the code was so much longer than it needed to be. It was just, it, yes, it would it would work the way it was written, but it was just super clunky. It was not clean code. But he did say, when I then went in and clarified things more specifically in the questions that the code review was asking, it came back with crazy good stuff. And so it is in the inputs. That's what it is. It's in the inputs. So you still need to know how to ask the question properly. Whether you're using it to write marketing content or sales generated messages to your prospects or code, you need to be educated enough to prompt it properly. You can't just ask a blanket statement and get gold. It's not it's not there yet. So at least it's not doing all the work for us is all I'm saying.